So my meal plan is mostly what I have on hand, freezer meals and things like that, but I still managed to spend almost $200 at HEB. My name is Vanessa, if you are new, and every single week I share a grocery haul. Sometimes I add the meal plan for my family of six. This week I'm not sharing the meal plan. This week I'm not sharing the meal plan because I am filming a what's for dinner all week long, so you guys will see that in just a few days. But yes, I went to HEB and I'm using a lot of what I already have on hand for meals. I did pick up a few things just to add into our meals but I still spent $197 at HEB, but that's because it is my girls, Rose and Pearl, they are twins, and they are turning seven this week. So they've already turned seven this week when you guys are seeing this video. Their birthday is on Thursday, November 7th, and today, when this video is going up, is their birthday party. So we're having a lot of friends and family over, and they are super excited. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I picked up for just under $200 at HEB. And I just got home and let the dogs in, so you will be hearing them walking around in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the non-food items first, and I will have it broken down in the description box so you guys can see how much I just spent on groceries. If you are just interested in what my grocery is for my family of six each week, I will have that broken out down below. But as far as non-grocery items, I did pick up quite a few things this week. Again, it's my girl's birthday party, so I went ahead and picked up some stuff for their party. I got two packages of napkins, and of course, Rose and Pearl love Frozen, so we are gonna go with a Frozen theme. I wish the movie was coming out this week. That would be perfect, but we do have to wait a couple weeks, but we will be going to see Frozen 2 in theaters. So I got two napkins. I did go ahead and get this little banner. We are keeping it nice and simple, nothing crazy for their birthday, just having some friends and family over to our house but I did wanna go ahead and get one banner and just kinda of theme the table and stuff. I got two tablecloths because we are going to have to bring in one of our folding tables into the house. So I got a tablecloth for our dining table and that table. I got three packages of the dessert paper plates. There's eight in each and then three packages of the larger paper plates because we are gonna have like appetizer, finger foods, and then cake. Then I saw this and I just had to get it. I don't know if Rose will wear one in her hair, but I know Pearl will. So I went ahead and got this three pack. I just think those are so pretty, the little hair bows. All right, let's just talk Christmas for a second. Anybody else pick up ornaments, new ornaments every single year? I don't know how many years we've been doing it. I feel like since Paige was maybe two, three, um, but all of my kids get a new ornament every single year, kind of showcasing what they were into that year. And then I will, once they move out of the house, they'll get all of their ornaments. So for this year, I did pick up Harry Potter for Bryce. I got this cactus one for Paige. It says Joy. And then I got the Llama for Pearl and the Unicorn for Rose. I just thought those were super, super cute. Okay, so I picked up powder last week. I think it was last week as well, and I was trying out a new kind. I did not like it. It's too white on my face. I look very pasty. Um, so I went ahead and got my other one. I'm gonna see if my oldest daughter, Paige, wants the other one that I picked up. She is definitely a shade or two lighter than I am, um, but otherwise I will, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna have to trash it. I hate doing that because it's like $7, but this is my absolute favorite um, powder, so I'm gonna stick with that. All right, my cat loves this stuff, like for real. She meows for it every single day. The catnip fever, chicken catnip and cheddar flavors. She gets just a tiny little, little itty bitty, not even a handful, like half, just like a pinch of these every single day as her treat. Then I needed some more dry shampoo and I love the Batiste, Batiste brand. And typically I get the like the original one in the, what, what is it, like a blue-green bottle, but I saw this one, it's Volumizing Dry Shampoo, and I definitely need some volume in my hair. So I went ahead and got that, and it says with collagen. So hopefully that works just as well as the other one. I figure it will, because it's the same brand. 
Okay, and then last non-food item, I did pick myself up some flowers. Um, I don't know if I'll do this every week because I think it just depends on what store I'm going to because these were, is the price tag on here? Oh, okay, that's not that bad. They're $15. Um, but I thought they looked really, really pretty. So I have a vase on my island and my flowers from last week are completely dead. They only last about a week. I wish they'd last longer, um, but got that. All right, so now onto the groceries and one grocery item that is not typical for us. <laughs> so I wouldn't consider this a typical or in our normal grocery haul, um, but yes, it's my girl's birthday party. Um, it's my girl's birthday and they are in two different classes this year. We kept them together for kindergarten, but first grade they are in two separate classes. So I went ahead, they said they wanted to take donuts to their class um, as their treat. All the kids on their birthday, they get to take a treat to their class to celebrate in school. So I went ahead and got donut holes. Um, when I went to HEB, they only had the chocolate glazed or iced donuts, and I just thought that was extremely messy. Now these are not super clean either, but I feel like they're gonna be a little better than chocolate um, iced donuts. So, and they didn't have enough of the original glaze. So I went ahead and got the donut holes and I got one of each kind. They might come home with extras or they can hand them out to, I don't know, the teachers or something. So I went ahead and got the devil's food, powdered glaze and sour cream, one of each for both girls to take to their classes on Thursday, their actual birthday. All right, so now this is our grocery haul for this week. I completely ran out of pepper. So I got some more pure ground black pepper. As far as produce, not a whole bunch. We don't have a whole lot on hand. We typically go through our produce every week, but I wanted to keep it a little cheaper in the grocery department because on Saturday, we are gonna pick up a lot more like appetizer type food. So just trying to keep the bill down a little bit. I went ahead and got these, the bigger package of the Angel Sweet Tomatoes. We are going to be having tacos this week and then my kids like to snack on these as well. I didn't get a lot of fruit. Um, we have a little bit of oranges left over, so I really wanna eat those before they go bad, but I did get one pound of fresh strawberries. These smell so good. Like I smelled the strawberries before I even got within a couple feet of them. Like they were just very potent. So I might eat a couple of those while the kids are at school. Then I just got this berry trio. So my oldest daughter Paige loves these types of berries more than like apples and oranges and stuff, but it gets pretty pricey. I mean, this itself was five bucks, but if I would have got like one separate package of each of these, it would have been closer to 15, maybe even more than that. So I went ahead and got the trio for her. It's got blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, and Mark might eat some of these as well. Got two cucumbers. This is my kid's favorite vegetable. They like carrots also, the little baby carrots, but they'll eat cucumbers all day, every day. And then a head of lettuce. All right, I went ahead and got an 18 pack of the eggs this week. I really need to start paying attention to how many eggs we buy and just stock up at Costco for the month, maybe buy three or four packages at a time, just because it is cheaper to get the um, pasture raised ones from Costco. But I did go ahead and get those. Then for taco night, I went ahead and I'm gonna try the HEB brand of the Carb Sense. I forget the other name brand. I don't remember it, um, but they have a four net carbs tortilla also. So I went ahead and tried the HEB brand. They have the same exact ingredients and I did get two packages because my kids can't just have one taco. So each one has eight count or a family of six. So I went ahead and got two. And then we're having hot dogs one night, my girl's favorite meal. So I got hot dogs and then they actually, okay, so I got a pack of this, I think last week, and I was gonna hold on to it until their birthday, but I totally made it for them this weekend. They saw it in the pantry and they were like, hey, can we have mac and cheese for lunch? And I made it for them. So I went ahead and picked up two more. Um, so I will make that on their birthday for their birthday dinner. Needed some salsa. So I have not tried this kind before. Oh, it's kind of dark right there. Is it gonna focus? Too many things, too many things. There we go, sort of, not really. There we go, okay. So it's Eva Longoria um, presents Eva's Kitchen, which if you guys don't know, she's an actress and she was married to Tony Parker, the Spurs player. Um, so it's Cantina style salsa. So I went ahead and 
pick this up. It is authentic Texas family recipe. It looked good. So I like to try new salsas. And then as far as drinks, my oldest daughter loves almond milk, the unsweetened. So I got one of those. Everybody else drinks whole milk. So I got a whole milk and then we're completely out of coffee creamer. So I went ahead and picked up the Italian sweet cream this time and I did get the sugar-free. You're very limited with the sugar-free creamers. So I, I got that one. I know we'll like it, but I figured we're over the pumpkin spice right now. We, I got pumpkin spice last time and that lasted us a couple weeks. And then I'm completely out of mineral water and myself, my daughter Pearl and my daughter Paige were the only three that drink this. <laughs> Bryce, Mark, and Rose do not like sparkling mineral water at all. So I got the lime, that's Paige's favorite, and then my favorite is the coconut and pearl drink whatever. <laughs> She's like my best eater hands down, even better than Mark and I. So I got the coconut for myself, and that is it you guys, that's $197 and a little bit of change at HEB. All right, so now I need to get this stuff put up and start cleaning and planning for the girl's birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. If you have somebody who loves to shop at HEB or needs some meal inspiration, I know I didn't share my meal plan, but if they like to see groceries, <laughs> share this video with them. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.